Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome back to another one of Game Dame Reacts where we have a developer update for Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl 3. Now, they had their beta release and I think they're listening to all the feedback that the users have given them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and watch a trailer to see what they have updated for Blood Bowl 3. Bum. Greetings, Blood Bowl fans What's up? and of all stripes. You've already had a look at several of the teams that will be included in Blood Bowl 3 when it launches. This year, some of you were even able to try out the game in closed beta. Today, we're pleased to be able to tell you a bit more about two teams that will be making their first appearance in the game. Ooh, the two teams. Renegades and the Old World Alliance. Wow, yes, I like that. What these two teams have in common? is that they're made up of several players that are usually in other teams. So, with the Old World Alliance, you'll be able to make up a team that includes humans, dwarves, halflings, and the famous Tree Man Support. Yes, the Tree Man this Support! Team the flexibility of the humans with the resistance of the dwarves. And, if you still need a bit more punch, you've got the Tree Man who can really block a zone. The Old World Alliance is pretty make sick. Make sure you manage the different parts of your team correctly, though. Basically, the humans tend to refuse to pass the ball to other players, and the dwarves play very independently, which might make you yep. use up too many rerolls. That have makes sense. We designing new, unique customization options for this team, with markings from both the human and dwarf teams. So there is a single team look, rather than different ones. I like that. That's good. Who has a really unique look. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> He's a giant tree. The Chaos Renegades, for their part, are an unlikely alliance of humans, dark elves, skaven, and greenskins, alongside the big oh. guys of Chaos. One small point that sets this team apart is that it can recruit up to three tough players, so they really That's are devastatingly good. strong and intimidating. Because of their Especially three to the tough chaos, players. Every player on the team has special access to mutation skills, giving them a lot of flexibility. Wow. Blood Bowl 3 has also given us the chance to highlight a new major game feature, the pitches, which have specific gameplay rules. Today, we're going to give you an early look at three of them. The first is the Chaos Chosen pitch, with mounds of skulls. Mounds pillars, of skulls. I like this new arena. That's pretty sick. Molten lava. It is clearly a pitch occupied by dark forces. The pitch starts out in a completely normal way, but if one of the players from either team ever spills blood during the first half, it will draw the attention of demonic entities. Ooh, in the second half, heat demonic and lava entities. will make the game a lot more complicated. Sprinting players will trip and fall more easily, and some of them may even be forced to miss entire drives if they succumb to heat stroke. I like the, the dice. The second Update. of these pitches is dedicated to one of the four gods of chaos, Nurgle, the god of Ooh, disease, Nurgle. decay, and rebirth. At Yum. First, the pitch is dormant, but if any player is ever unfortunate enough to die on this sacred ground, then the pitch will awaken from its slumber. Carnivorous plants Ooh. and swarming herbs, what have been silent, starts to hum with life. Because Fast one are death. More likely to fall down, and it becomes difficult for them to interact with the ball encouraging a slow and defensive game, which gives Nurgle's team a particular advantage. Ew, all those worms are the so third gross. Of these pitches is that of the Dark Elves. What's special about this pitch is that it was built over water, but there's more. Beneath the waves lurks a monstrous sea creature. And beware, if either team scores a touchdown in the first half, it might stir. A roaring crowd awakens the impressive tentacled monster. During the second half of the match, of course, the pitch is elves and hentai and stunned it's like players peanut butter and jelly. coming around. The players will also have to move more slowly in order to avoid the monster's tentacles. So, now I just like to say I hope you all have a great day, great matches, and of course, a little bit of luck with the dice. We hope you have enjoyed all these new features. We genuinely can't wait to show you even more. Blood Bowl 3 holds some more tremendous surprises for you. It so does. We will say, see you soon on the pitch, coaches. This developer update was very helpful. I love the two new teams, and I love the update, um, what they just said on the dice here. Blooded. A bit of luck with the dice.
We hope yeah, be- they uh, they updated the dice, and which I thought was pretty cool. But overall, I really love the two teams. I like the Old World Alliance. I think that one's really cool. And then uh, the other one, I can't remember the name. They just said, uh, but uh, the Chaos Renegades because they it's a mix of literally everyone because they love the chaos gods which i thought was awesome to like incorporate these two new teams just to add a little bit more variety along with the uh, interactive uh, boards that they have now too so the pc beta is still available looks like the devs are listening so if you guys have any more feedback from them i'd get it in as soon as possible and it's available on all platforms but that is all the time i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching i highly appreciate your time as always but please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my youtube but to my twitch you guys know where my youtube is at you can find my twitch at twitch.tv slash the game dame thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye